Spinning in space, NASA's $1.1 billion Juno spacecraft has arrived at its destination, our solar system's largest planet, Jupiter. A 35-minute firing of its thrusters will slow the craft, allowing it to enter into an elliptical orbit. We've known it for many, many years. It's a gorgeous planet. What Juno's about is looking beneath that surface. We've got to go down and look at what's inside, see how it's built, how deep do these features go, learn about its real secrets. That's what Juno's about. Radiation around Jupiter is 60 million times higher than that on Earth, which is why many of Juno's instruments are housed inside a titanium box for protection. These are high-energy electrons that are so energetic, they're moving at the speed of light because Jupiter's magnetic field has accelerated them to the point where they will go right through a spacecraft and strip the atoms apart inside your electronics and, and fry your brain. Juno has an array of advanced instruments on board that allow it to see beneath Jupiter's clouds. Orbiting at points less than 5,000 kilometres above the clouds, it will be the closest any spacecraft has been. We'd already started to look at Jupiter and its interaction with the solar wind and the aurora, and so the scientists are already combing through that data, learning about things. So we're already producing things uh, that are scientifically important. Juno is only the second spacecraft to orbit Jupiter, and the data and images it collects over the next 20 months are expected to add greatly to our understanding of the origin and evolution of the planet and the solar system. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.